Hello, I'm back. Um, <laughs> it's been a little while. Um, have you missed me? Actually, don't answer that. I might be slightly upset at the response. Um, right, so I'm back. Um, I've been away a little while since the beginning of December when we did Zebra Borealis. Um, mainly because um, Christmas was a very busy time and I've been house hunting and I've got a very young baby daughter and I've been ill. All that's kind of added up to me not really doing as much work as I'd hoped to. But here we are now with a, a brand new product um, which I'm going to show you. So what we have here, it's not a synth sound set, it's uh, a drum hit sample library. This is my first sort of proper sample library with uh, a GUI with things you can control and coloured keys that make it look professional and all that sort of business. Um, so what I've done is I've spent some time programming drum hits in my favourite soft synths. So uh, synths like Zebra and Diva and Bazille and Tyrrell N6 and Massive and Absinthe and FM8 and uh, Tell You Know LX, I think as well I did. Um, so all those favourite synths of mine, I've programmed a load of hits and then I've put them into different kits and I've processed them with my favourite uh, software plugins like UAD stuff and Kush Audio and Fab Filter, Native Instruments, all my faves. And that's was to get a vibe for each kit, so there's a particular vibe to uh, each kit. And um, yeah, so what this is targeting is um, dark, punchy, crunchy drum sounds. So it's good for cinematic underscore and action stuff, um, but it's also really good for electronica, right through from ambient to house and all that sort of stuff. Um, very versatile, I think. Well, I would say that, wouldn't I? I'm trying to sell it to you. But yes, I genuinely think there's some really good stuff in here. And the feedback I've had from a few people I've sent it out to has been extremely positive, which I'm very happy about. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to take you initially through the contact GUI here and what, what it does. And then I'm going to show you the battery kits. I'm finally going to show you Geist, which is another format I've done it in. Um, that's going to be the best way to sort of whiz through all the kits and show you how they, they all sound. So initially I'm just going to be showing you how contact works rather than taking you through the sound. So if all you hear about, if you're just wanting to hear the different kits and what sort of variety there is in there, then you might want to skip to nearer the end. But if you want to find out what you can do in the contact GUI now, then this is where we're starting. So I've brought up one of my favourite kits, which is the black and white kit. And so this is, let me just show you kick snare just to give you a quick feel of it. Okay, marvellous. So, and as you can see down here, the colour coded, so the snares are all red. Uh, sorry, that's kicks, isn't it? Come on, behave. Kicks and snares are green. Then we get these white blue flap sounds. Then yellow for the hats, and then finally there's noise hits, which are in the blue, and obviously I've been speaking all over them. Um, so, if we just go back and take that kick. So, nice, punchy, solid kick. So here we have uh, volume, which is fairly self-explanatory. Uh, tuning, so... Nice tuning control, and that's just for this. So this page here is just, the, you're just tweaking the one sample. So black and white kick two, that's what we're, so you can tune individual samples. You don't go up here to tune it and get everything tuned. And then pan, obviously, you know, if you want to place the drums in the stereo spectrum and simple amp envelope. Uh, we'll come to that bit in a second. Transients. So obviously the transient designer in, in contact is, is quite nifty. Uh, so if you want extra punch at the beginning, real hard attack. Or if you want it to be soft and flabby, you can fiddle with that. And then obviously the sustain, tightens, more flabbiness. 
And then there's a reasonably nice filter section. We've got a whole bunch of filters in here. So there's low pass, band pass, and high pass. Um, a nice collection of the, the filters that are included in contact. You all know what a filter cutoff does. So you can really shape the tone. And then obviously we've got an equalizer as well, so you can add some beefy bass end, which distorts it. And now a lot of these samples are, like I say, they're dark and crunchy, so there's not a lot of top end on them frequency, even the hi-hats. Um, but you can always add a bit back in with the, the high frequencies. Less obvious on a kick drum, obviously, but um, it's there so you can really shape the, each individual drum sound the way you want to in this in this GUI. Uh, so the send effects, um, we'll just nip over here to the send effects page. So we've got two delays, so you can have two de different separate uh, delays going on, and you can either do them in time signature or in milliseconds. So you just click on the, the little metronome icon there. So we've got that set to 1.8, and that's 140.5 milliseconds. Um, so just to show you how that works when you're playing with it. So. so that's that delay. Now it's shorter. And the reverb, so um, it's, it's a fairly basic reverb, but it's not gonna work quite so well on a kick, so. You've got control over damping and colour, the stereo width of the reverb, the size of it, and obviously the pre-delay. Um, probably more interesting on a snare sound, so if we... And you can see that now it's activated this sample here, so if we go back into there and we'll, we'll add a bit of... Uh, Add a bit of reverb. So you get a nice bit of slappy back reverb type thing going on there. Uh, insert effects. So what this is about um, is basically this gets applied to the whole kit. So whereas you're just tweaking the individual sample when you're playing with this one here, you've got the whole kit gets affected by these effects. So if we're playing our, our kick and snare again. So we activate the lo-fi controls. So if you want some chip tune type sounds. Noise. And then you've got the noise colour here. I don't know what the spectrum is, whether it goes from white to pink, from brown and red or whatever. But it's there. To get that lo-fi crunch. And then we've got distortion as well. So it's quite subtle when there's nothing on. Well, I'd say not subtle, it's just not there. So then we can add some saturation. Some little bit of drive. Let's go whole hog. Bring it back into line. So, so you can add any amount of crunch you want, really. Personally, I prefer the saturation over the drive, but you can do whatever you like. So, if you want it to be hideously over distorted or you just want to add a little subtle warmth then that's entirely up to you. Uh, we've got a compressor. Adds a little extra punch. I mean most of these samples have already been driven through through compressors to create the sample sound itself. So whether you want to 
do much with the compressor is, is uh, entirely up to you. And you've got the mix there, so you can apply it like a uh, dynamic compression. New York style -y. Um and Again, transients for the whole kit, so you can have very sort of soft ambient attacks, so or you can go with all the punch. And then you can tighten everything so it's nice and snippy. Or you can make it nice and flabby is the word I'm using for this. And the, the actual sort of the length the sample's played is, is basically triggered by how long you hold down the notes. So if you want it to be short, you just tap it gently. And if you want it to be long, you hold it down. Hopefully that's pretty self-explanatory. And then again, we've got the, the filter on the whole uh, the whole kit. So if we just apply a bit of band pass. And equally with the EQing. Yes. Just randomly picking stuff here. I'll change them from bells to shells. I'm going to put it on yet. So, you know, if you do use like the bandpass filter to make it a bit lo fi, uh, you can always come back into the equalizer and beef up that, that bass end to just sort of recover a bit. And so we got the hi-hats. <laughs> so that's that's not necessarily this kit sounding at its best. <laughs> but that's what you can do. I mean you can literally do do anything to to change the uh the the shape and tone of it. Um obviously I've designed them a specific way and that's that's what I want to present to you initially but essentially you can do whatever you damn well like. Um, so that's, that's basically it. I mean, it's nice and simple. It really is very simple to use, but at the same time, it offers a lot of, um, scope for tone shaping, individual sounds and whole drum kits. And you can really, really go a bit crazy and, uh, and throw a lot at it. Uh, so there's 20 kits in total, um, of the, the synth kits. So, Alpha kit there down to vintage child kit, which is another one of my favorites. Let's bring, let's bring this up. I do like this one. Oh, <laughs> clicked on no, didn't I? Check out my drum skills. Um, Yes, that's that's one of my fun favorite ones. Uh, so yes, there's twenty kits. Plus, I've also put um, together uh, kits where you have access to all the claps, all the kicks, all the noises, all the snares, the hats. There's so many of them; they had to be divided into two. Um, but if you if you if you're sort of MIDI programming and you know what sort of rhythms you want, and then these are quite useful just to sort of audition sounds. So there's all these claps on here. And it with everything else. And the noise one's quite fun. So if we go through the, the noise sounds. Go... Lots of curious little virtual analog sort of noises there. And then there's actually three bonus kits um, that I put together whilst I was doing it. It's, they didn't really feel like they fit into sort of the, the kick snare hat style drum kit, so there were other individual sounds. Uh, much of much of this, the dark cinematic kit is done, um, if I remember correctly, with Zebra. So they have quite a sort of dark and industrial sound to them. And then We've got this other bonus kit, which is my ethnic analog kit. So this is virtual analog programming, but to create sort of no, 
nice ethnic sound. Um, so it's a bit like um, <clears throat> stuff like the, the Latin versions of the Roland's TR uh, drum machines from back in the day. They had that, that sort of ethnic world kind of vibe. And then we've also got this synth hits kit, which is basically just some big synth hits. <laughs> You'll be surprised to hear. So quite fun for um, some impacts. If you don't want it to have something organic, you're doing like uh, an electronic vibe, but you want a big hit in there. And obviously this is where um, the send effects can be quite useful. So if we just, let's, let's put a bit of a blend of all of them on there and go. Well, that was ineffectual. <laughs> that, that had less of an effect than I imagined it would. Let's pick another one. Okay, that one, we've got to hit something on this one. Let's really go for it. <laughs> okay, so you might want to spend a little bit more time designing that in a slightly more cultured way than I have there, which was, for want of a better word, slightly quick and pathetic. So, yeah, that's essentially the contact section of the walkthrough. Um... As you can see, it's 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 there's a lot of programming. I've spent months putting these together in there to give you some really cool drum hits to play with. But I think the the GUI adds some really nifty extra levels of control, and um, it's really easy to use. I mean, it is it's it's child's play. It's basically it's almost like a bit like a sort of drum sample synth kind of all in one really and you can use it for for most music genres um the demos i've got back from my demoists have been have been a blend of cinematic and electronic and some really quirky stuff so yeah and it's it's just yeah it sounds good and it's easy to use so what, what else do you want from a, a, a synth drum sample library and you do get it in wav battery and uh, geist formats as well if that is the sort of thing you like and if indeed it is well let's let's move on to that now um let's we'll take a quick look at the battery version which is battery three and battery four which is nice right so this is battery and what we have here is nice pretty colored stuff uh this is battery four obviously um battery three there is also a battery three version uh, but i'm showing battery four just on this video because it's prettier um, so we've got Berliner kit, and I'm just going to turn this down a bit because the battery I find comes out a bit hot. So, uh, so that's maybe a bit too far down, wasn't it? Let's try again. Yeah, that's better. So it's lined up in battery so um, you can play it as a nice kit so A corresponds with C1 and then C2 for the uh, first kick of B uh, so basically all just programs so you just you just fling it up there and, and, it, and all the sounds are there uh, and if you know battery, then you know it's got all these excellent extra controls and effects, and you've got crazy modulation you can do, and there's certain things you control on the master as well. Um, but I'm not here to show you how battery works. If you've got battery, you already know all this. Um, but there it is. These are the battery kits. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple. I don't really need to go into any great detail. This, this is load up another kit, and I'll just drag it down a little bit again. So there you go. It's straightforward. It's there in front of you. You don't really need to know very much other than that. Uh, so finally, we're going to just move on to Geist. 
uh, and then I can show you a program beat and we'll whiz through a load of the kits, different kits, so you can hear how they all sound. Sound good? Okay, let's do this. Okay, hello, and here we are with Geist, which is already playing through because I've hit record and it automatically does that. <laughs> and, um, so this is one of my favourite kits, this is the Vintage Child Kit, so I've just programmed a nice little loop in here. And what we're going to do with Geist is we're just going to, um, actually I'll just for a second explain. So basically each kit is pretty much got four kicks here, four snares, maybe a clap there, then four hats there, and then on this line um, it's got noises, extra hats, maybe even extra snare or clap or something, uh, just whatever else there is to hand that's cool in the kit. Um, yeah, so that's rather entertaining. That's kind of NPC style, I guess. Okay, so let's just whiz through all the kits to show you this same beat through all of them, basically. Just so you can hear them all, because Geist does that like quite nicely. Whilst I yell over the top. Uh, let's try the dance cinematic. Not quite what it's designed to do, but fun nonetheless. <laughs> so as you can tell, there's quite a, despite the fact that they're all sort of electronic synthy hits, there's quite a variety of um, different tones going on in there. I can't remember which one I just did on. I should stop talking really. <laughs> We won't do some kids then. I'll go on just to see what this has to make. <laughs> bit mental. And back to Vintage Charm. And I'm just going to fade that out just in case um, it stops me recording or anything. So there you go, that is um, a quick trip through all 23 kits, um, yes, uh, through Geist, so I haven't used Geist very much, but it's, it actually seems like quite quite fun, um, I'm a big fan of hardware drum machines, so I quite like the way that this works, like a, um, a hardware drum machine, so I'm, I must play with this a bit more. So yes, that's that's um, a good overview of all the, all the 23 kits, so you can hear them all playing the same rhythm, so you can feel that whilst obviously they all are created with virtual analog synths and stuff like that, that there's there's a nice variety of tones in there just from the kits and that's before you start editing and playing with them yourself. Okay, so yeah, there you go. That is um, Algorithms 02 in a nutshell. Um, as mentioned before, so it comes in contact variation with the, the GUI that you can do lots of control with. There's the basic WAVs um, I'm going to do. The, the contact uses the, uh, the compressed NCW format, but I'm also going to throw in the WAVs so you can stick that in your, uh, your own sampler or whatever you want to do with them if you prefer to just program beats that way. There's battery 3 and battery 4, because I know not everyone's upgraded to battery 4 yet. And then there's obviously Geist as well. 
Um, so that's all the formats. Um, I hope you've dug what you've been listening to and you like the sound of the kits. I've really had a ball doing them, and if this uh, is successful, what I'm actually going to do for Algorithms 03 is get my hardware drum machines out. So my Vermona, Electron, uh, Joe Mox stuff, uh, MFB, one of theirs, um, and probably put them through my hardware gear as well. So put them through my UAD, Elysia, uh, Thermionic Culture sort of stuff just to just to do a variation, basically, a hardware variation, um, mostly analogue, which will be cool. Um, so I'd like to be able to do that. So uh, if you want to see that, it's worth purchasing this version, because <laughs> otherwise I might be thinking, well, what's the point? It's not going to make any money. Oh, I suppose it'll make me happy, won't it? Yes, it might make me happy, and that's more important than money, isn't it? Darn right. Okay, well, thanks again for watching. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at this and yeah if you've got any comments stick them below i don't mind try not to be rude about my voice um i can't help it it's the way i was brung up in it um so there you go thanks again for watching and i'll see you back next month with some more synth sounds hurrah bye bye